Over the last nine months, the pandemic has been a worrying time for us all. We've experienced isolation, loss and uncertainty. But in the midst of this crisis, we've also seen huge acts of kindness, generosity and empathy. The pandemic has reminded us just how much we value living in a world where people care for one another and the importance of feeling connected to the people around us. And it's these connections, these relationships, that are founded in the earliest years of our lives. People often ask why I care so passionately about the early years. Many mistakenly believe that my interest stems from having children of my own. And while of course I care hugely about their start in life, this ultimately sells the issue short. Parenthood isn't a prerequisite for understanding the importance of the early years. If we only expect people to take an interest in the early years when they have children, we are not only too late for them, we are underestimating the huge role others can play in shaping our most formative years too. Over the last decade, I, like many of you, have met people from all walks of life. I've seen that experiences such as homelessness, addiction and poor mental health are often grounded in a difficult childhood. But I have also seen how positive protective factors in the early years can play a critical role in shaping our futures too. And I care hugely about this. Because the science shows that the early years are more pivotal for future health and happiness than any other period in our lifetime because as many as 40% of our children will arrive at school with below the expected levels of development, and because the social cost of late intervention has been estimated to be over £17 billion a year. The early years are therefore not simply just about how we raise our children. They are, in fact, about how we raise the next generation of adults. They are about the society we will become, which is why... I wanted to start a society-wide conversation to hear what people across the UK think about the early years too. I was humbled that over half a million people responded to the five big questions survey, showing just how much people wanted to talk about this. We combined these findings with national research and a COVID lockdown survey, and together this represents the UK's biggest ever study on the early years. These collective insights are critical and the questions they pose will help guide our work in the years to come. Firstly, if parents are struggling to prioritise their own well-being, how can we better support them? Secondly, what is at the root of why parents feel so judged? Thirdly, how can we address parental loneliness, which has dramatically increased during the pandemic? particularly in the most deprived areas. And finally, if less than a quarter of us understand the unique importance of a child's first five years, what can we do to make this better known? We must do all we can to tackle these issues and to elevate the importance of the early years.